If you're looking for a step-by-step -step walkthrough of going from data to pre-processing to training a machine learning model and all the way to deployment in the cloud with detailed step-by-step -step explanation, well, this talk is for you. With over 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's totally understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see forecasting stock returns with TensorFlow, CloudML Engine, and Thomson Reuters Tick Data in BigQuery, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. This session walked through in detail the queries, the code, and the configurations used to train a model on stock market tick data sourced from Thomson Reuters. Specifically, the aim of this model was to predict returns on a five-minute horizon of market information. Now, this project, it's somewhat special, and that's because it's really doing everything in the cloud. The data is in the cloud, the pre-processing is done in the cloud, and the training of the machine learning model, well, it's also done in the cloud. This means that even though the particular model they ended up using was pretty simple, and the training data selected was over a fairly limited time frame, just five minutes, the solution that was designed, it works from the get-go to scale up to a much bigger data set and a much more sophisticated model. Now, concretely, the data is pulled out of BigQuery with a couple of different SQL queries, and then it's loaded into a pandas data frame. From there, it's transformed into TF record files. This is ideal for sending over to TensorFlow training, especially if the data were to then scale up in the future. There's a great explanation in the talk of using feature columns and the feature spec utility functions to make constructing an input function much, much easier. And as is often the case, the simplest part of the process ended up being the actual model building. Now, for the training of this model, the model was trained on Cloud ML Engine, and there's a detailed walkthrough of the configuration file and setup process that was used, empowering you to not only be able to reproduce this workflow, but then extend it. This session was very much a how-to talk. So if you're ready to dive into the world of running machine learning in the cloud, head on over to the full talk and get training. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I've included the link to the full talk down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great content. I'll see you on the next Rewind.